inbound between Belleville and Century City. Well, that is a wrap of the roads for the Cabana on 18 this morning, rising to a very hot 36 degrees maximum. to com uh, communicate because it's the only way you can um, have solutions by communicating and they didn't want to communicate with any of us really they, they said that we are um, they listened to us but they never did I sit there many a times and the moment someone asks a question it's like they just put the case down they didn't want to people to really like all questions and, you know. Talk about um, structures where there is more than one family in the structure. Okay. Because um, um, it also like for a social uh, part is for families. Like the mothers and fathers to sleep into one structure, so there's no room for children. Uh, um, so yeah, and at the moment there is more than one family in one structure. There's about two or three families in one structure. So yeah, I would like to um, see if we can find a solution to that. There's a single word that describes the history of land in this country, and that is dispossession. We don't realize that if you walk outside of this room, in every suburb in this, in this country, we see the Group Areas Act still with us. Our hope is that this, is a sp this will increasingly in the future become a space uh, a regular event where communities, planners, academics, architects, lawyers concerned with issues of city planning and reversing the fragmented and unjust and unequal cities that we inherited from apartheid um, and transforming them into more integrated, efficient and pro-poor spaces. My name is Wad Isaacs and I live under the Val Drive. Uh, uh, flat that is owned by the, uh, the Department of, of National Housing, of Local Housing, sorry. My reason for being at this, uh, at this uh, showcase today is to stress the importance of people wanting to live in the city and having the choice. We live in social housing. Some of our tenants have been here for over 16 years, 60. In fact, 63 years to be precise. And we feel that why should we be relocated? It's like, it's, a, it's like they are trying to downscale us. My name is Judith Sicade. I'm from Maricana in Philippine East. Why I'm here is the reason of Maricana. The way we stay there in Maricana with nothing. That's why I'm here for, to come and to come and uh, be with the other residents who also got problems like me, to participate with them. I'm sorry, my name is Etienne Klaassen. Um, I stay in Black Isdor. Um, I've been living there now for six years. Yeah, um, the reason for me being here is to let people know about the conditions that we are living to and that we're facing every day. Um, yeah, our main issue is actually we want to know when 
it's such a to move these people, relocate them into houses. We don't want to be relocated into um, another tier A because we are fed up now with tier A CS. Hi, I am Clive Miller and this is uh, my friend Hazel Abrams. We are both from South Road and we were tenants that faced eviction from the city of Cape Town um, in lieu of the implementation of phase two way of the My City Bus Route. Um, we have recently won a, a court interdict against the city and we were very glad to be here today to also meet up with other communities who are facing the same plight from either the city of Cape Town or the provincial the Human Settlement Department in connection with their evictions. We see this only uh, as a first step uh, towards a broader engagement where working class communities can build a well-informed and a strong social movement that can speak to the highest tiers of government. Our children, the future, so for some of them, or at least one or two of them, to take over one day and just see that even if you live in a settlement or where we live on a farm, that you don't need to stand back for anyone. You know, you have all the rights, like anyone in our country have the same rights, you know. That settlement people don't have less rights. Everyone have the same rights.